Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I am here today to do a box of charm unboxing. I don't have anything on my face right now because there is some skincare in this box this month. Um, here is what we're looking at. Um, so I figured that I would just go ahead and get started and hopefully this video won't be quite as long as they've been lately. Okay, so the first things first, the theme this month is stellar. I know there's a reflection, it's annoying. But this is the pamphlet that tells you about all of the products inside. Um, and I, so this is just the base box. I did not upgrade to the premium box. Um, I don't really wanna spend $35 a month on BoxyCharm. I'm fine with 25, um, which yeah, it did go up to, I believe $25. I think I'm correct on that. Anyways, the first thing that I got to try right now is this Tula um, skincare. It's their Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Mask with Probiotics and Superfoods. So the probiotics help calm the look of inflammation and aid in moisture retention. The, it also has Gatu Cola, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, which is an herb that conditions the skin and helps improve the look of elasticity. Grapefruit, antioxidant and superfood that brightens the appearance of skin and chamomile, which Calm, soothes, and helps relieve the look of redness. Now in my head, I feel like grapefruit would be irritating to the skin, but I'm not an esthetician, so who knows. Um, it says to use the mask two times a week. What? By the way, this retails, it's a two pack for $22. I am not spending $22 a week on face masks. Um, it says, so use it twice a week or when you need a boost of cosmic glow and hydration. Okay. Um, also of note, it is free of, free from phthalates, parabens, mineral oils, sodium lauryl sulfate, and formaldehyde releasing agents. All right. So cleanse my skin. Did it. Then I need to carefully unfold the mask and apply it to face. Leave on for five to 10 minutes and remove your mask and enjoy your glow. Sebastian. Booby. He's attacking the pillow, cause why not? Okay, so let's do this. Oh, it's super slimy. Mm, I don't know if I like it. Okay. Oh, it's like lacy. Sexy fake. oh, what? What? I don't understand. What part? Oh, that must be my mouthpiece. Hang on, this is confusing. Was it supposed to do that? Okay. Uh, oh, it feels gross. It's like a gel. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's all cold and mm, apparently, I didn't know I was a texture person, but I might be. My holes are a little low there. Oh my gosh, sorry. The neighbor's dogs are barking. So if you hear that, just bear with me. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Oh, it feels so gross. I don't even, ugh, it feels like a membrane. Oh. The nose flaps are gonna suffocate me. Okay. I have it on. Whose forehead is that little? And really? Oh, okay, it's stretchy, good. I guess my eye, maybe my eyebrows didn't need the help. I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. <laughs> okay, I am ready. I'll be back in five to 10 minutes, probably 10. We'll let it like really do its work. Okay, it has been 10 minutes and I'm ready to take this off. Ugh. Yeah, they're just so weird. It's like, it's a gel sheet mask, which I guess it says that. You hear yelling, 
my son and his friend are playing outside. Okay, so I mean, yeah, it's, it's absorbed. It feels nice. Um, I feel like my skin is glowy. I don't know that it's more glowy than it would be with my moisturizer, but you know, it's all good. Okay, so the next thing I got, where is it? Is this Kypris um, Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. This retails for $90. I don't know that I can personally justify spending $90 on a serum. At least not from a brand I've never heard of before, which maybe sounds snooty. I don't know. Um, but let's see, what is it supposed to do? It says antioxidant dew lavishes skin with quenching encapsulated antioxidant. What? with quenching encapsulated antioxidants, nurturing amino acids, and an array of soothing botanicals. Use as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. Okay, so did I, I did mention that it, it retails for 90. Um, apply several drops of antioxidant due to clean skin morning and night for best results combined with a Kypris Beauty Elixir for external use only. Don't need it. And it's made for skin desiring a kiss of hydration. The box is really pretty. You're not going to be able to see it though, are you? Oh, oh, there you go. It's just like a really, I like that design. It's got some gold leaf. Okay. Made exclusively for boxy charm, huh? Okay, so it's like a milky sort of consistency. So, one two, three, we'll just go with three, because I think it said two to three drops, right? All right, so I need to remember that I will not have like a full on, um, like true thoughts on this yet because it's day one. But maybe it's amazing, I hope it's not. I hope I don't fall in love with it because I don't wanna have to start spending $90 on something for my face. Okay, so we got that on. Ooh, I almost, I just grabbed it by the lid and it wasn't like screwed down. It feels nice, I don't know. I am going to go in with my normal moisturizer now um, for some SPF. Even though my skin feels great, like I don't feel like I need any additional hydration. All right, the next product in the box is the Celestial Thunder palette by Dominique Cosmetics. Um, this is what the inside looks like. If you have not seen the Boxy Charm spoilers, I think I can go ahead and just, ah, there we go. There, are, I'm not blinding you. Um, I have swatched it. So if you see swatch marks, it's, that's why I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do some little finger swatches of these metallics. Those are gorgeous. I'm using this guy today. We're gonna go like full glam. Um, I think it'll be really, really beautiful. That's crazy. On camera, this one looks really pink, but it's in person, it's like a coppery bronze shade. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Okay, actually, while I'm priming, I'll talk about the product. So this retails for $35. This looks like it's just a miniature version of the eyeshadow palette that she recently came out with. I don't remember what it was called. So since I don't know anything about this um, formula and I don't want my makeup to look too, too terrible, I am going to set my shadow. I think I am going to take just a little bit of this grayish taupe on a big fluffy brush and use this as a transition shade. So I'm wanting this to just kind of blow out and not be super pigmented upon initial application. And thankfully it looks like, I mean, these are definitely pigmented shadows. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't truly know yet, but I am just, it's, it's hard to tell because I'm just tapping once or twice and then tapping off the excess. It 
It's kind of wanting to stick down in certain places. Okay, so that's kind of a base layer so far. Um, now I am going to take Lucid Dream, the shade here. They do have shade names. This one is Zero Gravity. So now, yeah, I'm gonna take Lucid Dream and deepen up the crease with that. This is not going to go with my outfit. I will probably have to change. Wow. This is definitely a little bit more than what I was bargaining for. I'm gonna go back into zero gravity and see if I can deepen up the crease. So we're just, I don't know. I'm not wanting this to be super muddy. I'm kind of worried that that's where we're headed. This might have been a huge mistake. But I'm hoping that it'll make sense here in just a second when I lay down my lid shade. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, um, now I'm gonna take black matter all over my lid. It's this really beautiful black with purple um, reflex. So I'm just gonna try taking it on my finger This is insane. Ooh, I'm not loving this. Okay, I'm gonna use a brush. I'm going in with a Sigma brush. Um, I am gonna wet my brush. Just because. Okay. Oh, it's crazy. I feel like it's so absolutely nuts. I went way too high with that pink shadow. Now I'm working to blend that line out because it's a little crazy. Okay, I'm starting over. All right, so I wiped that off. I am going to start over again. My lighting is getting really crappy. Oh, this sucks. Oh, well. Hopefully that's not too distracting in the background there. So, once again, priming the lids. And setting that primer once again. All right, I need to close that window. All right, I am going to try this again. Once again, I'm going into zero gravity. I just, I need to keep the color lower. I'm not trying to get too crazy here. You guys hear a bunch of commotion. It's my my child. He's just he's having a very loud day, you know. Yep, that's him. He's hitting a giant chunk of styrofoam that came and I don't even know what. Okay, so I'm stopping there with that shade. And then I'm going to go into the pink Lucid Dream on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. I'm gonna load that up and I'm going to be very careful with my color placement. Because I think that is something I was not doing last time.
Okay, so it's not as high up and I think that that will make a giant difference. Then I'm going to work on blending that out just a little bit with um, zero gravity. Okay, now again, we're gonna go back into black matter because I really do want to use the shade today. These shimmers seem to be pressed really hard. I'm not, kind of not loving them. The mattes seem to perform pretty well. I wonder, whenever there's like an embossed logo in a shade, it makes me wonder how hard shadows are pressed. I don't know if there's any correlation or not, but. Okay. Then I'm gonna take Eternal Light, that champagne glittery shade, and pop that in the inner portion of my lid. And then I'm dipping back into Lucid Dream, the pink, just to help blend out that line. And maybe I should dip into Black Matter. I'll blend it out. Oh my gosh. I had really high hopes for this eye look and it just, I gotta move on. It's not, there's a harsh line. I'm not crazy about harsh lines. It's making me a little bit crazy. Um, but I don't know what else to do. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next things in the box. Is that it? Did it? Did it? Oh, okay. Next is the BoxyCharm two-piece brush set. This retails for $35. It's like their first time with their own brushes. So you've got kind of a smaller oval brush and a larger oval, oval brush. So I'm going to use the large one to apply foundation. So... Let's go ahead and get some foundation on my skin. I'm not crazy about using brushes for foundation, mainly because, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm like, really tugging on my skin here. So it says you can use this. Um, oh my goodness. I don't like using brushes. <gasps> I don't ever, ever use a brush for my foundation. Okay, what does it say about this? Sorry. Um, Create your favorite looks in total luxury with our first ever BoxyCharm branded brush set. The large multi-purpose powder brush is perfect for liquids, creams, powders, or mineral products. And the foundation brush has an oval base to help with precise foundation placement and seamless blending. Oh, this is the multi-purpose brush. And apparently this is supposed to be for foundation. That seems really small. I was gonna use that for cream contour today. But this definitely like, okay, it blended my foundation out really well. Now I'm going to get some concealer on. It's getting so late. I've had to like repeatedly go out and talk to my son about being quiet because he's sitting out there like banging on this piece of 
styrofoam that God only knows where it came from. My lighting is getting terrible. Um, I am definitely noticing some glitter fallout from the eyeshadow, which is a bummer. Um, but it is what it is. Now I am going to use the smaller brush to cream contour. I feel like that would work really well. So I'm dipping into my Tardis Pro. Oh shoot, it's a lot of product. Oops. <laughs> really? That looks real good. Real good. The bad news is it's date night tonight. The good news is we're going to a movie. So no one will see me, aside from my husband. He doesn't care. He tells me I'm beautiful no matter what, so. Okay, so I'm not, I mean, maybe it's too soon to tell, but I'm not completely loving this brush. That's a very low contour, but I can fix that with powder in a minute. So, um, okay, let me, I'm going to go ahead and powder. I think I'm gonna do everything else off camera and then I will be back to do my lips. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my eyes. I did my lower lashes. Um, I did my lower lash line already with Zero Gravity and Lucid Dream. I just kind of combined the two on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and put it on there. Um, I've got my mascara done. So everything is done except for the last thing that's in the box, and that is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mood, Nude Mood, sorry. Um, these retail for $18 and these were formulated specifically for BoxyCharm. So it's just like a, it appears to be a nice nude, which I'm super excited about. I love the formula of these and I think that it will pair pretty well with what I've got on my eyes. All right. Okay, this feels a little different than they normally do. I don't know. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I actually really like how the eyes turned out. I felt like it ended up working pretty well. It's definitely a formula that I think you have to work with quite a bit in order to get it to perform the way that some others do just off the bat. Um, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I don't have a shade like, um, dark matter anywhere else in my collection. So, so in just for that shade alone, I'm happy. Um, all right. So let's talk about the overall value of the box. This, if I did my math correctly, the retail value of this box is $200. I paid 25. Um, I, again, I feel like it's worth it, even though the most expensive products in the box were skincare. Well, that's not true. The most expensive product in the box was skincare and there were two skincare items and it's hard to really know if skincare is effective unless you've been using it for a while. So I like what I used, um, even though the texture of the Tula masks freaked me out. Um, I'm not crazy about the brushes. They're not bad brushes, but I just, I don't ever apply foundation with brushes. Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. And I don't see myself using these for powder products. They're so dense that I don't, I don't like really dense brushes for powder products. I like my powder brushes to have more give. So I don't know. Um, I do like how my foundation applied today though. So who knows, maybe I will use it for foundation on a semi-regular basis. 
The liquid lipstick I love. I absolutely love the Joseph Colors liquid lipstick. I think the color is really pretty. Um, I like the formula. It's one of the few formulas of liquid lipstick that I prefer. So um, that's, that's great. I like that it's a wearable shade. I'm into it. The eyeshadow palette I do like. I feel like like I said, it's just you have to work a little bit more with these um, shadows in order to get them to perform, and that's fine. The Kypris Serum, it's fine. Um, I don't like it. Again, it's skincare. I don't know how it's going to perform long term. But, and the Tula Mask was fine. Okay, I think I just repeated myself a bunch. <laughs> so I, there really isn't anything in this box that I don't like which is good. The things that I like the most are the Joseph Colors Liquid Lipstick and probably the eyeshadow palette um, because it's a color story that I don't see used very often. So I can appreciate that. Um, and I do actually, you know what, the, the Kyper Serum, it was really comfortable going on, so I'm excited to use it some more. Okay, so that is going to do it for this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!